Hey guys, it's Regant here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can rent your own Minecraft server and also how you can set it up and in addition I will show you how you can transfer your single player world in, onto the server. So yeah, let's start. So I'm going to show you how to rent a server with the example of Gportal. I'm also partnered with Gportal so if you use the link, the first link in my video description, you will get 10% off on your order also on existing servers if you have uh, one on gportal already and yeah i will also profit from that so it's a win-win situation for both of us so yeah let's start so this is the website of gportal first we start by uh, creating an account if you don't have one if you have one you can surely just log in you can register with uh, facebook google twitch or xbox if you have an account there otherwise you can just register with your email i will just log in now because I already have a profile here. So after creating your account you will land on this site here or after logging in if you had already an account and you already see Gportal is offering many different servers not only for Minecraft also for example Arc, Conan Exiles, Valheim and much much more but we want to start with a Minecraft server. To start with that we just go on order now and you see um, it starts at 0.9 euro for three days and now we have some decisions to make mm, first of all you have unlimited slots on every server so theoretically you could use a t t two gigabyte ram server for 100 players but the server wouldn't survive that so if you want to have a huge number of players you will surely need a bigger one but if you just want to play with your friends um two gigabyte ram could be enough but i would probably recommend the four gigabyte ram so even if you build some bigger structures you will be good to go also you can choose a mod pack while buying the server so here you see for example minecraft vanilla a spigot server paper and if you don't find the server the mod pack you want you can just type it in here for example paper and then you see the different paper versions um, g portal is offering and yeah, but we will go for a vanilla server now. But I think this is already preset. So we can just go with this one here. Here you already see the 10% disc discount. Uh, this is in German because my main channel is still in German. So yeah, ignore that this is in German. You see the 10% discount is already here now. And that's what counts. So here you can choose again, Minecraft Vanilla, we have uh, Minecraft Vanilla 2 GB, but we want 4, so you have to choose 4 here. Here you can choose duration, up to 1 year for example, of course, if you buy uh, more time. So if you would uh, pay for a year right now, it would be a little bit cheaper than, for example, buying the server for a month. So there you can also get a discount if you know that you want the server to be online for a year or even longer. And yeah, then you have to choose your the location, your the closest to you. So for me, it would be Europe and Germany, Frankfurt. Um, if you're from England, of course, England. And yeah, for Europe, most of the time it would be, um, yeah, Frankfurt. In some cases, it would probably be London. So then we have also some advantages at G Portal. First, it's Germany's first game hosting community and the German expect uh, high quality. So you see it's already very established in Germany. So, you know, you will get a very good quality on the servers. You have a support via ticket forum, wiki and phone the whole day. So you have it like 24 hours a day, the support. Um, a smooth and easy web interface. You see how we buy it. It's pretty simple and easy to use. Maximum flexibility. That's uh, because you can change the gigabyte RAM or the size of the server, the duration always. So if I would buy the four gigabyte server now, you can change it like tomorrow to a 10 gigabyte server. So you have a high flexibility. Uh, it takes around three minutes. So to start the server after you bought it, so you can instantly start playing. And secure payment, of course, uh, you don't have to be worried about some issues with payment because you have some different payment options here first of all paypal i would guess this is the most common thing to pay for servers i also normally use paypal in most of the cases then a german option support überweisung it's for just bank transfer in english 
Um, then of course, credit card, passive card and ideal. But most of you would probably just use PayPal. Also, you have a phone number where you uh, get phone support here. But yeah, let's go on here. So here you again have a small summary from, for your server. Um, will, I will pay with my balance because I have some balance on a G portal. And yeah, then I have to choose it and we continue. And then you have this screen here. Thanks you for the order. And we will of course activate it right now. So now we will go to the game server configuration to set up the server. So first we can start the server so we can try to join it for everyone who doesn't want to import his world. So you will know how to join your server. And down here you have to, you have your FTP datas. Um, these datas will be later in the video important because we will need these datas um, for importing our uh, survival world. Um, so yeah, let's start joining the server first. Um, here you can see your IP address for the server. You will just copy it. Then go into Minecraft and you see our server is now online. Of course, it will it will um, take like two more minutes to start the server, but we go into Minecraft now. Then you go into multiplayer, add server. Now you can name your server, for example, Regant server. And then enter the server address right here and type uh, press on down. And now we have to wait until the server is already uh, ready to go. We can test it right now. And it's it was even quicker than I even thought. <laughs> this weren't like three minutes, this was probably one minute. But yeah, you see, we are on our server now. Um, and now you could start playing here with your friends. And they also just need the server IP to join your server. You can also set a password, but we will go to the configuration right now. And then I'm going to show you how you can import your own single player or any world onto your server. So back here on a G portal, we can go into our basic settings on the left side. And then it's pretty simple. Um, you won't have big problems to set up your server here. You can, here you can cho choose again the bots. And of course, if you change this, you have to restart your server. Um, you can choose a version if you don't have the latest version or you want to play an older version. You can just uh, choose it here. You can name your server here. Um, we can just name it Regan's server here. Then world selection. We will need this one later. If we have imported our world, then you can choose your world here. For now, it's not important. If you don't want to import your world, the world name, it's just world. You can set up a seat here. Some stuff you can put in here you can choose the game mode the difficulty um, turn on pvp turn it off the player slots now you can set it up to 100 wouldn't make sense with a, such a small server i would say because it will cost many many legs so i think like 20 should be fine with this server then we continue you can activate the whitelist i'm going to activate now to show you how it will work a low flight for probably creative players. If you have some creative players on your world, you can own low flight. A low nether, of course. Yeah, some basic, um, some basic options you can choose here. You can turn on hardcore. Probably also uh, important for some pay, uh, for some players here. Then you can also choose the maximum build height, maximum world size, and yeah, something important here. Not yet. And here we have the whitelist. You can just type in the player name and then you're good to go. My name is Remakes uh, on Minecraft. So yeah, I'm just typing in the name and it will be good to go. And if you want to remove them, you can just like click on them, delete them. Oh, and they're gone. So easy it is. Then we have some more options here. Here you have a list of banned players and yeah. That's already it with the basic settings. Then we are in the configuration files. You can also change some things by hand if you want to. Then we go onto console. So here, here you have the console and can see what's going on in the server. And also you will have many commands you will probably need down here within a big list. Then you have your SQL uh, access here and the region fixer. 
Um, if you have problems with your world, you can use the region fixer. I would recommend to first start a backup of the server because if they if they unloaded chunks, for example, um, the region fixer could fix it. But make sure to have a backup because the region it could happen that the region fixer would probably destroy something on the server um, that you have built or something if it's close to the bug. Um, so make sure to have a backup before you start the region fixer. Then administration, you can make schedule, uh, schedules for uh, restarts and also describe it if you, for example, 3 p.m. or something, um, weekly, monthly, yeah, just to schedule your restarts. Here you can get a backup. It's very easy. You can uh, have a maximum of uh, 50 gigabyte for the backups, but that's way more than you will ever need. It will be saved for 28 days, what is also a very long time. And you can just create a backup by pressing create backup, confirm. Yes, I don't, I won't do it now because we don't need a backup right now. And yeah, here we'll have a list of your backups then. Then you also have the permission option here um, and you can add users in here that you, uh, that you want to be, for example, admin on your server. So um, if you don't have time to like um, host the server or support the server, or restart the server here, you can give permissions to people that can do like restart the server and stuff like that. And here you also have a small help option with support forum and wiki if you need any help. So now we have to go to status to get the FTP data for importing our world. So we're going to start with that one now. So we start by getting our world file we need to go into our search for that. So go into your search, type in percent app data, like I do right now, and open this folder here. Then we go into the Minecraft folder, saves, and here you will have all of your worlds you have created on your single player Minecraft. For me, there are so many worlds because I'm creating a new world for every farm I'm building. Um, and uh, but I named this uh, the world I want to test now that you have seen in the beginning server test world. Uh, now we have have to save it somewhere. For example, on the desktop, I will make a folder on the desktop real quick and put the world in uh, this folder into it. For the next step, we need a program which is called FileZilla. Um, I will link download link in the video description so you can just easily download it. After you start it, it, it should look like this. Now we will need the FTP data from our server. So we have to go back into G portal and now just copy your host name, port and username. And of course also the password. So after you typed everything in, you just have to press on connect. So the program will connect to your server. And then it will just look like this on the right side. Now you are on your server and now you have uh, to choose on the left side the folder where you saved your world the uh, world folder so here you see my world is right here server test world you can also go into the app data uh, folder you don't have to like put it on your desktop or something or in an extra folder you, then you just have to uh, go the path in the app data folder but yeah this is a little bit easier if you just pr put it on your desktop then you find it very easily by just pr pressing on desktop um, and yeah, then all you have to do is take the world folder like I do right here and just get it into the right side here. And yeah, now it will take a moment. And after you, you're done with it, you have your world in, on your server. So let's go back into gportal real quick. So we are back in our gportal basic settings and now we have to scroll down to our world selection we were before. And now you will find your world here if you followed the steps correctly until this point. Now you just have to choose the world you want to play with. You can also upload multiple worlds on your server, of course, uh, to and switch them whenever you want to. And now I've chosen this the new world. I'm going to press save. And now, of course, the server has to restart because the old world is still on the server. So let's wait a moment. All right, it saved the world and it turned the server offline. So now we are gonna start it again. 
and wait for two and th or three minutes and then we I'm gonna show you how you will join your server again. So back in Minecraft after we uh, started our server we just go on multiplayer and we have saved the world earlier so we can just join the server again because the IP hasn't changed. So you see we are joining instantly and we are back on now our single player world we've created. So that easy it is and you can just change your world again whenever you like. So yeah, that's it basically. Um, if you want to rent a server, make sure to use the link in the video description so you will get a 10% discount. And yeah, hopefully see you in my next video and have fun with your new server. Bye.